KA5ACE here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to program up a couple of CDM LS 1550s for repeater use. Okay. So once you've, you're going to need a rip box. I know you've seen this before. I got this one off of Amazon. Valley Enterprises did great. All right, we're starting off with the receiver radio. I've already got the plug in. It's just much easier to pull this down. It's not broke, I just pull it down. That way I can get it in and get it out real quick. Uh, this is another repeater that I made, but I just used a modular cable. Uh, all right. So, I might actually exit out all this. And uh, once you have the CPS software on your computer, I'm run you through the whole process here. Very easy. Okay. Now we want to read radio. Right there. Double click or whatever. Double click. First off, I want to take you into radio configuration. Now, this is for your receive radio, and this is very important. You want to go all the way to accessory pins. Now, look at this and write it all down. This is where you want everything set up at on your receive radio the active levels are very important also so once you do that you go up here and I like to go ahead and do one thing at a time so Go up here, double click to write to device. All right, now I want to show you how you program it on your frequency level for repeater use. We're going to go to eventual personality, receive radio, which receive radio is going to be, you know, you're receiving, you know, transmitting your PL tones and all that good stuff, as you can see right here. Now, if I unclick this, I've unlocked the TX. Well, we don't want it to TX. We don't want this radio to actually throw out a signal. You see? So, we block that back out. Okay, to get this to change, you're not going to be able to change this. This will be set to this. Most likely. And you're not going to be able to change it. You want to change that to TPL, which that's going to give you access to put in your uh, your PL tone. Okay, once you've got that and you've done this, you go up here and write to radio. It won't take any time to do that. All right, so that is the only thing you need to do with the receive radio. If you followed my instructions on the on your pin configuration, so we're going to back out of this. I like to totally just close out the program. Works better that way. And just simply pull out your card and I put it into your transmitter. It, I don't have them bolted together yet still in the programming it was in the programming process but once I saw how easy it was to do I'm like I gotta make a video <laughs> okay so you transmit radio 
I'm going to go and show you the settings for this. So I'm doing everything here. You can get this disc off of Amazon. Now we want to read radio. But the only thing is, make sure you don't fall for that USB cable sh crap. I mean, they'll try to sell you one that's a USB cable straight to the uh, microphone input. And there's no way that that will program this radio. So, I'm going to hit expand. And we're going to see what this the radio configuration has. Now this is for your transmitting radio. And this is what you really need to look at is accessory pins and everything needs to be just like that. give you a chance so you don't have to pause so as you can see my rip box is functioning great and so we're going to go down here close that out we're going to go to the radio transmitting part and as you see now this is very 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 important being that you can't lock this one as an rx because then it wouldn't transmit what you need to do damn it <laughs> i don't want to change that what you want to do is just click and type in your transmit frequency pl tone and then you want to do the same thing and the same thing I taught you earlier with the TPL you want to do that you want to do your TPL down here that way you can put in your same frequency okay that means no one can really back up into your system they can't they can't uh, back up into the other radio this is gonna keep you keep you safe and this is the proper way Others may not agree, but uh, it's doing a really good job for me. So, as you can see, I've got the receive frequency as my, that's my transmit frequency, and the same frequency down here, same PL. So, as long as you do that, and you do what was written in the in your pinout code, I'm going to show you this one more time, then we'll go ahead and end the video. And as I learn more about this, I will post more, because these Motorola's are very, very good for making repeaters out of, and they're pretty accessible. So as I learn, you'll learn. And to show you that everything is working, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and frequency mode. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To show you that it is actually changing. And 
One, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. Turn that other radio down. And that's how you build a repeater. One, two, three, test. One, two, three, test. Kilo Alpha 5 Alpha Charlie Echo. And you get a little bit of debounce. I mean, not debounce, but a little tail there, you know, not much. But that's, that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed the video.